Kush, Council General of Israel to South India with us today. Welcome here ma'am. Thank you. What would you like to suggest uh, uh, to further strengthen the collaboration between India and Israel as far as education industry is concerned? Thank you for the question. I think so much is in the importance of education because education is our future. Yeah. And what I see here in ISCR, you are taking care of the future and finding the next uh, management uh, and leaders and, and in different uh, scope of life. And what we do is Israel and India share so much in common. And uh, uh, just four months ago, our Prime Minister, Prime Minister Netanyahu, had visited Prime Minister Modi here in uh, January. And one of the things that they highlighted was the potential for cooperation in education. Two years back, when our president came to India, 20, more than 20 agreements had been signed between Indian, Indian institutions of higher education and Israel. And in this visit, uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, together with Prime Minister uh, Modi, uh, launched a few initiatives to further strengthen education. Um, and also to push generally for connection between our two people. And one important connection is innovation. Because you need to, in order to prepare the future, you need to educate for how to be innovative and to give the right atmosphere for the bright minds, both in India and in Israel, to innovate. Um, and for that, they have allocated 20 million each, so a 40 million innovation fund that will be given to students, to PhD students, or to heads of uh, startups, to Israelis and Indians to find solutions together, whether it's in health, whether it's agriculture, whether it's water solution, and so on and so forth. This is only one avenue. We are here in an event um, celebrating the achievement of women. One of the things that our two prime ministers had announced is to do in October a, a, a conference for pushing women to go to engineering, science, and all the, the, the professions that are on occasion are characterized more than male uh, uh, predominant. Um, because you see, there's, you see in India and Israel, female leadership in teams, in uh, the idea, in the Israel defense minister, you have a minister uh, for, for defense. We have many high-ranking women that are in different parts of, Israel, of, of, uh, of the decision-making in Israel, the same uh, as in the US. So if I'm trying to summarize everything, education is the future. And if I'm looking at the partnership between India and Israel, education can be a tool to have a better world for all of us. And we can utilize amazing students like the students of ISC are to go and study in Israel. 10% of the student, foreign students in Israel come from India. And their scholarship are being provided by the government of India and the government of Israel. In the, whilst we put the effort on the next generation of leaders in India to interact with the next generation of leaders in Israel, that, and those next generation are based in different universities such as your University of ICR, we can really make a difference and utilize the bond between Israel and India to a better future for all. Thank you ma'am. We have been celebrating uh, Abhinandana. Success of women achievers at Abhinandana year on year and we are thankful to you for being the part of this time, 6th Abhinandana 2K18 would like to know about your views regarding Abhinandana. Uh, especially in Karnataka, in different, achieving in different uh, uh, avenues of life, whether it's education, whether it's uh, excelling as a trigger here, and, and, uh, and from uh, journalism and so on and so forth. I think that we uh, live in a world uh, that all uh, achievements should be celebrated of men and male and
who were able to be awarded. I basically give it. contributed so much to our society back home in Islam and yes, so many women had contributed to society here in Karnataka and all over, all over India and um, I'm commending uh, the leadership of ISCR and the, the, our convener Dr. Manohar um, uh, for uh, organizing this important event and inviting us to take part and to enable me as an Israeli diplomat to give another angle of the bond between Israel and India. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Yeah.